so um, I feel like it's kind of appropriate I've got a physics related injury when I'm talking about a physics library. Um, her hands up, who was at CJS? Few people, not everybody. I gave a very much longer version of this talk there, so I'm sorry, I'm going to be reusing the same jokes. Um, this is Chipmunk. Chipmunk is a really simple 2D physics engine, uh, physics library. I didn't actually write it, I ported it to JavaScript. It's written by a very clever guy called Scott Lakembe, and this is the only picture I could find of him, um, which I think is awesome. Uh, the physics engine's written in pure C, and I thought, damn it, I want to write it, in, I want it in JavaScript so that I can make games using it. And as well, I was bored over Christmas, and I want to know how it worked. So I spent about a month porting it to JavaScript. So now we can have a whole bunch of objects falling, and I can throw them around, and that's all working, all in a browser. Yeah. Thank you. Um, if you want, this is the original C code, which is really cool. <laughs> um, I really like this demo. I can like bump one of these little dominoes. Um, or this one, I just like showing off. Uh, I didn't make this, but it looks cool. So Chipmunk's a 2D physics engine. Hands up everyone who's heard of Box2D. Box2D, a few people, right, right, okay. So um, Chipmunk's written by a different guy. Uh, it's not as popular as Box2D. These are the basic differences. Chipmunk is four times smaller if you use it in the browser, right? 50K, 60K instead of 200K. It's faster. I think that it's going to be about two or three times faster than Box2D in the browser, but I want to run benchmarks. Someone, if you want to, please come talk to me afterwards. I'll help you out. Um, Box2D is way more popular. Box2D does something called continuous collision detection. If I shoot you in Box2D, the bullet can't teleport through you. It can in Chipmunk. You have to just be careful about things like that. Chipmunk guy reckons, eh, it's not actually a problem in real world games. You can just kind of special case that. There's kind of three things we need to know about to be able to use Chipmunk. There's spaces. A space contains all of the objects. It contains all of us in this room, say. Um, there's bodies. A body is a whole bunch of bits that have fused together. If I built a car, then I would have the body of the car be one body. Each of the wheels would be a separate body because they can move independently of one another. Um, bodies have position, angle, mass, velocity, etc. They're objects in the world. And finally, there's shapes. Shapes are the primitives in, in Chipmunk. And when you build a body, you build it out of shapes. We have a line segment. We have a box, which is really just a polygon. We've got a circle. And we've got some more polygons and another circle here. Um, polygon circles and line segments are what you've got in Chipmunk to work with. Uh, finally, there's also constraints that you can use for joints, but I'm not going to talk about them because I'm going to go horribly over time anyway. Um, so I'm going to make a little demo. Um, something I want to show you guys is this. Who thinks they know high school physics? High school physics? More physics? Come on, hands up. Physics is easy, right? OK, I have a box, uh, sorry, a circle, and I'm going to run it down a ramp. What properties of the circle, and I just want you guys to think about this, what properties of the circle are going to change the speed that it goes down the ramp at? Shh. Think about it. Get to that in a second. Right. So this is a really, really simple um, website. It's got some JavaScript on it. It seems like no one else has been doing demos, and code is cool. So yeah, code, right? It's not CoffeeScript, and that's just because, hands up everyone who knows CoffeeScript. All right, more people, yes. But I would have written in CoffeeScript if more people knew it, because CoffeeScript's awesome. So this is really, really simple. All I'm going to do is go var space equals new cp dot space, chipmunk dot space. I'm going to set the gravity to a vector that points downwards, so 500 pixels per second per second of gravity. Um, 60 times a second, I'm going to step the space, which means advance the physics simulation by 1 60th of a second worth. Clear the screen, go through every shape, and draw it. Chipmunk doesn't include any drawing stuff, but there's some functions down here for drawing a uh, segment shape, drawing a circle, and drawing a polygon. So that's where all the drawing code is. Then all I'm going to do is add some shapes to it. So I'm going to add a circle, space.addBody. I need to create a new body. So new cp.body with a mass. Moment is how easily it rotates. So the moment of a circle. Mass radius. I'm going to set it at a position. I'm going to add a shape to it, which is a circle shape. I'm going to set its elasticity, how bouncy it is, its friction, how slidey it is, and I'm going to put it in a group of things, and I'll get to that in a minute, and make it red. Add a box and add some ramps and stuff as well. So if I were to run this program in my browser, then I get a ball that rolls down a ramp. Woo, Woo yeah, physics. <laughs> All right, back to the question. So I want, do I have time? Yeah. Right, cool, OK. Two things from the audience, which might affect how fast the ball goes down, and let's test them. Something, someone. Gravity. Gravity. 
Gravity is too boring. I want something about the ball, a property of the ball. Mass. Okay, we'll do mass. One other thing. Friction. Friction's boring. The color won't affect it. Oh, I can do friction. Something more interesting. Hardness won't change anything. It doesn't squish. It's a body. Radius. Let's do radius. All right. Okay, I'll do those two. Um, I'm going to pretend to not be a cripple for a minute. Um, okay, so because copying and pasting is cool, copy, paste. I'm going to make another ball that's going to be green. Setting the group of these two, shape, of these two shapes means they won't collide with each other. Going to make a green body. I'm going to change its mass to be more mass equals 10. Save this. So now I've got two bodies, right? One of them's green, one of them's red. They're going to be superimposed right over the top of each other. And let's run the simulation again and see if they separate. No, not at all. They roll down exactly the same. So mass makes no difference. Let's do size. So I'm going to change the mass. I'm going to increase the radius to 30. The color, I want to be able to see through this ball. So I'm going to make it RGBA. Say, let's make it green, 0, 255, 0. And then how it's opacity, 0 0.5, so semi-transparent. HSL. Oh, I can't remember HSL values off the top of my head. All right, two circles. And the radius didn't change it at all. No, that's a bummer on that one. Um, because I kind of like having a positive example, I'll do friction anyway. Let's change its friction so it's 0, totally slippy. Who thinks this is going to totally change everything and it's going to move at a different speed? Move at a different speed, people. Move at the same speed. I don't know physics. <laughs> right, OK. So I'm going to roll this one down again. Remember, the green circle, which is also bigger, is going to have no friction associated with it. Oh, look at it go. What happened there? Oh, bumped over the box. Oh. Um, what happened here is that some of the energy of the roll, and this is how I think of it, some of the energy of the red ball, when we put it down, went into making the ball spin around, instead of making the ball roll fast. The green circle, none of the energy went into making it spin. It just slid perfectly. So it managed to pick up more momentum by its, its slide down the ramp than the red ball did. Um, so that's, that's Chipmunk.js. Chipmunk.js can do all sorts of other things, like these things. This is a damped spring, boing. This is a uh, damped rotary spring, which I think is really cool. Um, and you can put all of these together to make little cars and whatever else you want. So please go out there and build the next Angry Birds in the web using JavaScript, using Chipmunk.js. Thank you.